Hey guys, Sean here again, and today we're going to talk about how to set the price for your home that you're trying to sell. Uh, obviously, when you're thinking about selling your home, you want to get as much money as possible, and we're going to go through how to set up your price so that you're not uh, overpricing it and you're going to sell in the market forever. So, the first thing to do is to know your market. Uh, you need to be able to run comps, look at what other properties are selling for, and you don't want to go with just what properties are being listed for. You also want to go mainly with what properties are being sold for. So when we run comps on our properties, what we do is we look up uh, properties, let's say it's a three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square feet. What we'll do is we'll look at recently sold properties in the last three months. And we will look at homes that have three bedroom, two baths, and they range on the square footage from 1250 to 1750 to capture the homes that are close to 1500. Uh, and then we, what we do, yeah, so then we apply that and we look within our area. Uh, so what we normally do is just type in our street address without the number and pull up that neighborhood and then run those filters. And they'll pull up the homes that have been recently sold in the last three months that are similar to yours. Uh, the other way you can do is, is ask for uh, CMAs, which is Comparable Market Analysis from an agent. And any agent will give this to you, and I don't really know what they tell you. I just know that they'll give those to you to tell you what your neighborhood and houses in the area are doing market-wise. Uh, just be aware that that's not uh, making you obliged to go work with that agent. It's more of a marketing piece for them, so they do it for free. Uh, second thing is to be realistic when you set your price. Obviously, you want to get as much as you can, uh, but you don't want to price the home too high where it just sits on the market. Uh, buyers also want to get a good deal. So you have, if your baseline is here and you're trying to get that price higher, the buyer's trying to get the price lower. So you have to find that sweet spot in here, and which is going to be your baseline. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> forgot what that one was. Oh yeah, uh, you don't want to go through the whole price drop. So when people are looking for properties on the, or like Zillow or Redfin, uh, they're going to see uh, your history of your price on your property. So if you start at 300000 when the house is worth two hundred fifty, they're going to see that you waited two months and that you had to drop the price to two hundred and seventy five and then drop it to two sixty and then drop it to two fifty and it makes you look like you're just being greedy and being desperate and having to get as much money as you possibly can and they're going to come in and know that you are struggling to sell your property and that you've been on the market for six months or eight months or a year trying to get as much as you can and that you're tired of just marketing that property and having people walk through it so they're more likely to come in and offer you a lower number because they're going to play off of that pain that you've created for yourself so it's a lot easier to look at as what's your time worth is your time worth getting out of the property within three months or do you want to wait the whole year and get as much money as you can in reality you're really only going to be making ten thousand dollars more which sounds like a lot but you're still gonna have to pay capital gains tax. You still have the holding cost. You're not moving into your next house yet. Uh, you just have a lot of other factors that are coming into play. So the third thing you wanna do is uh, ask for other people's opinions. So go ask your family and friends uh, what they would be willing to pay for a house like yours. And it may be high, it may be low, but that just gives you a gauge of what somebody uh, if they were to come look at your house, what it's worth to them. Uh, that may be uncomfortable for you or it may not, depends on your personality. I think it'd be a great gauge just to get a start. Uh, I still think that the best way to gauge it is to look at recently sold properties and then compare that to what your realtor is telling you. A side note on the realtor, be aware, they're gonna go ahead and tell you the uh, maximum price that you're able to get or that they think you can get because they are uh, they're obligated to tell you the max amount you should be able to get uh, because if you come back after you sold it and somebody says well 
uh, I could have gotten this much, they can be in trouble for that. So just be aware of that and make sure that your realtor is also being realistic when they're telling you the price. And also them telling you if your property is worth 250 and they tell you they can sell it for 300,000, uh, they're just trying to get your business. And in reality, they may know that it's only worth 250 and that they're gonna have to wait it out until you drop that price to 250. Uh, the last thing is to, to not only look at the final price, but what comes in to the whole package. So the terms of your contract or your agreement with the buyer is purchasing your property. Uh, sometimes it's not always just about the final price for some people. Uh, a lot of times it's about what that is included with. So maybe uh, they're gonna give you the $300,000, but they want all of your furniture left in there because they love your furniture. Or you're gonna fix up certain things, or you're gonna hold it for a certain amount of time, or they're gonna drop the price to 225 and get you out of the property within two weeks. Uh, look at the whole package and see what works for you. Make sure it all works for you. But just to recap, know your market, run your comps. Uh, be realistic, set a price that is uh, good for average comparable properties and make sure that you're in line with other properties that are similar to yours so you're more likely to sell it faster. Uh, ask other people's opinions to get a gauge of what other people will pay for it and don't only look at the price, look at what's included and what also you get out of the property selling. Uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, if you want to learn more about our process about home buying, and working with professional home buyers, uh, go to the website, fill out a form, or give us a call or a text, and we'll be happy to reach out to you. Thanks, guys.